he presses on with the puddings, adding locally sourced strawberry jam to the custard and topping them with meringue. But there's something very familiar about his presentation. OK, that looks very uh, regal. Pretty similar to mine as well, isn't it, really? Yeah, it's very similar. They're robbing little And he's just robbed Lisa's idea. She's got the death steal on. She is not a happy bunny. Be interesting to see who wins it. So do you not think that this is the right dish for the banquet? Then mine's got no chance because no, practically think, they're nearly the, the same. Is, right, I, I love so the you're fun. buzzing me out and you're buzzing yourself no, out. I, I, I love the flavour of yours. And the, to be honest, it's a nice dessert. To be honest, <laughs> I think it'll be quite quirky. Little crowns on top for the uh, for the king yeah. of puddings. I'm cooking uh, king of puddings. She did a, a queen of puddings. Um, you know, both completely different desserts. Kenny's dish did look remarkably like mine. I think mine could have a bit of an edge. Just the fact that he's bought the jam rather than making it himself. And it's time to find out as Kenny's king of puddings is cooked and ready to be served. Will the judges think that his dessert would get the royal seal of approval? Very hot. I was hoping it was going to be hot in an earthenware dish. Yeah. <laughs> it's very hot. <laughs> Nothing like a really hot pudding on a summer's, summer's evening, day. don't you think? I feel like uh, some copycat chefs in there at the moment. They've all they've all had this sort of rush on um, Queen of Puddings. For me, that is so so sweet. I'm beginning to hallucinate. <laughs> I think he's got so much sugar. In. I think where Lisa stands out above this one is that her rhubarb had the acidity mm. to go with it, where yeah. Kenny's put jam. It's very sweet jam. Yeah. Uh, it's not particularly good jam. And that sh that the sugar from that jam is permeating everything. Yeah. The other thing is that Queen of Puddings, you're meant to get the bottom custard set before you add the jam and the meringue, because otherwise you get this sort of awful curdled sludge in the bottom. Did you three pick on him again? Did he, has he changed this? Yeah. You oh, have, yeah. haven't you? Yeah, you you, didn't, quite, taste, you no. didn't taste the last one. I'm starting to feel That crazy is now. not Kenny. I'm surprised that Kenny's done this. You can't eat this. That's the dish that goes like that on the banquet table. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And it's going to go like, exactly he, like that on this table. You know what this is? This is a classic example of a chef that's not tasting his own food. It's a disaster. It's never yeah. going anywhere. Let's just this move is. on and see if there's anything else. That is just wrong. <laughs> Very similar. Very similar. You can slay it if you want. I've got big shoulders. Yeah. Sweet. Naturally, Queen of Puddings is a sweet dessert anyway. It's not as lightly. They might say about it being a bit wintry. Wintry. <laughs> what do you think the judges will be making a bit? They make a comment on the sweetness. I thought Lisa's was a lot more easier to eat in lightness. I had to work with what I had. It was either that or jam really poorly with custard on the side. The risky move there from Kenny, the, the dish was very, very similar to Lisa's, almost identical dishes. So it'll be interesting to see what the judges come up with. Kenny, King of the North East, a prince of the kitchen. When it comes to puddings, just a joke up. It's a three. It was undercooked, oversweetened, and it looked disgusting. Mm. It's a three. Kenny's done something extremely special here. He has cooked probably the worst dish in the competition so far, in my opinion. It's disgusting, too. Today, I came here expecting big things from Kenny, and I had something put in front of me that was sweet beyond a dessert. He let himself down so badly. For that, I'm going to give him a two. So that's a devastating score for Kenny.